I am the back end handyman. I fix things as cheap as I can, which is often all by myself. I am not a professional. May not be done the right way, but it's done my way. I assume no responsibility if you attempt the same thing and damage anything. Alright guys, to do the ceiling I'm going to try to use these. And my wife is going to help me try to put them on. Yeah, it feels pretty secure now. Last night I felt like it was going to fall on my face. No, we're not through the pole. It's kind of like they make your legs do this. I don't know if it's just me or is this just got fat calves or it's like this is in too far. You see what I'm saying? What? <laughs> it's in too far. So it's making me do like this chicken chicken leg thing. No, no, no. That makes my feet hurt. Wait, you think you can do better? I want to see what, Mom? I don't know what I just want to see you do it. I don't want to be in them. I'm scared of these. <laughs> That's not very high. Yeah. I'm scared. That's not even as high as I am right now. Jesus. Uh, How tall are you right now? I'm still pretty short. But. <laughs> you want to do it? You just push down on that and pull on it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. That's so much better. I mean, this must be for people with skinny legs. Jesus. Oh, it's adjustable right there. Okay. I bought these so long ago that I never actually put them on. Well, I did, and then I found they were uncomfortable, so. But now it's time to use them, and I'm like, these would be a lot faster if I could just use them. So, we'll try. Holy fuck. Oh, that would be a dream creature. But fuck no. Jesus Christ, I am scared of heights. Oh, jeez. These must be little kids or something. What the hell is up with that? Why does it make me walk holy? Thank you. 
see it, people. That's what the fuck these are for. I ain't no fucking skinny person, so I give up. Come here, get this shit off me. <laughs> oh, damn it. I'm in much trouble. I'm over here about to die. That seems better. Boy, well, that hurts. I'll come up with something else. Alright, guys. Here it is, another day. And I'm about to start doing the ceiling. These things, for fat people like me, with big husky legs, they ain't gonna work. Um, so what I did is I made me an urban assault vehicle for my uh, drywalling purposes. So I think we're gonna be all right. Let's see here. This right here is what I call the sheet rocker mudder 3000. This thing, the swivels, it has wheels, it has a stilt. <laughs> and I took the feet thing off the other one and drilled them on here so I can put that right there. Of course, you gotta have your drill. We have screwdrivers, little things pull out screws. I have a place for my headphones. I have a freaking water bottle holder. And it's up high enough I can reach the ceiling without getting this bow legged like that. That's what it was doing, making my legs do that. I didn't like that. And nicest thing of all about my piece of engineering. It's got a built-in radio that gets removable, so I guess it's a portable radio that goes in it, but anyways, and it has the extra sander, had the knee pad shelf, I even had a thing that I charge my batteries with for my drill and my uh, sander. I just got to plug it in at night, and, and I can just unplug it, and <coughs> the stereo has power when it's unplugged. That there. Then you stand right here, you mud up there, you get the mud from there, and this thing is going to be sweet. I can tell compared to this is what I got done on the ladder. I'd move the ladder over a little bit and then I'd move it over some more. And then I was like, okay, well, I got these stilts. I'll go out and try them. So I went and got the stilts and I came in and we seen how that went. So I didn't do any of this with the stilts, but that took me like three hours to mud that part and smooth it out and everything. And I'll have to do this whole ceiling again, one more time, just to make sure everything's nice, smooth and flat. But yeah, I got all this ceiling to do. Everybody's like, yeah, you got a big house. And I'm like, yeah, you got a big house. That's a big house, but we love it. I'll get on this. I'll let you see it in action. See, this is what I'm talking about. Still the whole system, man. Skateboarders are gonna love that. Wouldn't work on the carpet, which is what most houses are gonna be. Unless it has LVP, which LVP is what's going in this room. We just scored a whole bunch of it.
Kind of ain't as easy as I thought it would be. Shit, I could make one that was really wide, that had big tires, that had a motor on the tires, and a little joystick you can go with. Yeah. Somebody needs to hit me up to fund this. This is a pretty good idea, man. I don't know if they already got these things. I imagine this one here costs probably about 200 bucks because of this, which you don't have to have that. I could probably make something that would work better for this and then have little slots for your tools and stuff. And if I come on up with these poles, I could make a little railing go around it to where you don't fall out. But it would definitely have to be wider and longer if I was to do production of them. After I'm done with the ceiling, I just put the um, stilts back together and sell them. I ain't getting rid of this though because this is actually a little roll around bench that I reinforced so I wouldn't fall through it. I'm fat. Oh yeah, I'm excited. Like, side, like, subscribe, and share. Push. Hey man, while you're at it, check out my other YouTube channels. The Stay Home Dad, The Back End Handyman, The Dorcher Family, and The Average Stoner. Just a little bit of what I do from day to day as a stay home dad.